Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I am finally delving into the big and fascinating world of wild childs. So I'll give you a kind of a quick rundown over the history of wild childs, the prototypes, the Instagram feed, and when it started and where it's today. And just, yeah, all you need to know for this up and coming doll line that's premiering this year apparently so let's get into it let me introduce you to the main gang here so from left to right we have chase and chazelle so chase is a cheetah and chazelle is also a cheetah i think i think because her name is chazelle uh it kind of reminds me of gazelle you know which is a different animal <laughs> Um, but no, I think they're both cheetahs, very obviously. Um, and they're a couple. They are together, so giving me Deuce and Cleo vibes. Yes, yes, yes. And then right next to Chazelle, we have Zari. She's a zebra character. And then Taja is a tiger character. And then on the far right, we have Ping or Peng. She's obviously the panda character. It's really funny because here on the actual official wild child's website they use both names um on, on the different uh, pages so i don't know if her name is ping or peng with an e so uh either way um it those are her names either one okay now that we know our main characters here we're gonna go to the official website here and see what's up obviously you can see here they already have some face masks that have the little lips and nose really adorable but otherwise there's not really much else to this website there's an about us and obviously the merchandise here as you can see speaking of let's talk a little more about the actual company that's creating this brand the wild child line so this company is called dream Cleoed, um, and the licensing says 2020, but we know for a fact that the first post on Instagram on the official Wild Child's account was back in 2015. So, in uh, I think two times now in 2017 and in 2020, they updated their branding or their uh, you know, like the logo or something because they the licensing says 2020, but again. They've been around since at least 2015 because that's when the first Instagram post of the Wild Child Girls came out. So they've been around for a while and they're an up and coming company. They have produced two brands as of this, as of right now. Um, one of them is obviously the Wild Child's doll line and the other one is a clothing line, I believe, BB Cheek. It's really cute. Um, and so let's talk about what it says on their website. So it says our mission, we are trailblazing dreamers and creators with passion to design and develop creative products featuring in-house character development. Of our multiple properties, we are currently showcasing our existing debut brands, Wild Child's The Girls on the Prowl for Style and BB Chic, Be a Dreamer, Be a Believer, Be Everything You Were Created to Be. Okay, long title. <laughs> Lil Dreamers Entertainment was inspired by the leading lady BB Chic in its early development to dream big and powerfully execute its soulful vision and make its dreamers and make its dreams reality after much planning and preparation immersive foundational work and many mistakes we are now sharing our light with the world as dream cleo okay so they were first known as little dreamers entertainment which in um as we get to the instagram uh portion of this video we will see that they were used they used to be called lil dreamers so that's really interesting and now i guess they're just called dream cleo that's their rebranded new name and you guys there's actually a bunch of more segments here on the official website like who we are what we do our core values but because i don't want this video to be too long um i encourage you to go check it out yourself i will leave the link down below because they do seem like a very promising and up coming company so be on the lookout y'all so really cute but what we want to see is that character bio so let's switch it up so here we have that character bios you can see the artwork is splendid by the way i didn't mention it but i love it i love the design with the huge feet just the proportions just gives me very 2000s art styles and here we have our first character of course first up we have our cute panda girl pang here or ping again they use both terms so i don't know which one's correct but we 
we can see her name here up top and then we even have a little kind of like symbol of uh her face that actually all the characters have it definitely reminds me of the little skelet icon that the monster high characters all had that were all individual for them respectively so i really love that kind of it's very inspired very inspired by monster high i love it just it definitely feels like just so so nice um and then so here on the about me little box here it says ni hao which is hi i'm paying my girl pals classify me as a precious panda because my wild side is exquisite i'm on the prowl to educate the wild i'll teach anyone about the significance of wildlife its features and share with them how important it is to be knowledgeable regarding our ecosystem now believe me i wish i could read out all these facts and segments but there's like two like there's there's two panels of fierce facts here um there's like at least 10 like facts about each characters uh so it's a lot of stuff to read out loud so i i that will be that would take too much time and again i don't want to i don't want to take up too much of your time so um i will leave the link down below for the um wild child's official website or you can just uh read it here on screen right now what it says um but yeah i'm sorry i just i really don't want to use up too much of your time here but uh basically it's just a really cute way uh of giving us information about each character and um what they do and where they live and they live in like a very special place which is called um zufari city it's awesome it sounds like an awesome place um overall and each character even has like powers so that's crazy um so again a lot of very interesting juicy stuff that we can learn about them and again if you want to learn more about them like in depth just go to their website link is down below that was ping and oh also we can also see like who the characters are friends with but since we only have five characters overall at least for the time being they all just basically uh show the other characters in in this group so it's 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 a cute concept but once there's more characters you know uh, established so with the girl girl pals here on the right each character also has the respective animal in the corner and next up is Chazelle of course we have her about me section and it reads hi guys I'm Chazelle my girlfriends call me the charming cheetah because my wild side is very attractive I'm on the prowl to preserve the wild I help revive plants and animals on the verge of extinction i'm racing to do whatever i can to restore and maintain the magnificent wild world we all live okay, in okay she sounds awesome and of course on the little icon of chase she has a heart because they are a couple then we have zari okay she looks stunning so her about me section reads hello i'm zari my girlfriends classify me as the zealous zebra because my wild side is uber passionate it. I'm on the prowl to inspire the wild. I express how rageous our habitations are and how essential it is to all wildlife. I encourage others to help keep our environment at its finest and looking super stylish for all to enjoy. Okay, she is stunning. I love her already. And then we have Taja. Okay, wow. And her about me section reads, Sup growl, I'm Taja. My growls classify me as the truculent tigress because my wild side is fierce and aggressive. I'm on the prowl to protect the wild. I fight for what is right and stand my ground when things are unjust. I defend wildlife at any cost. And that's on period poo. Okay, I'm having too much fun here. Oh my gosh. And these hashtags at the bottom of very character bio iconic. Next up, we have Chase though. He is the only guy character in this current lineup, but it's interesting that under his uh wild child's uh logo it says the guys on the prowl for wild style and on top of the girls uh like the main logo at the top of the website says wild child's the growls on the prowl for wild style so it's like for the girls and then like the guys so it's kind of reminding me uh like uh brats a lot like brats the branding for brats boys and then you know 
just it's very similar i just very mga it's giving me that vibe combination of a monster high and mga both best of both worlds honestly getting back to chase sorry chase his about me section reads what up my dude okay <laughs> that's cheesy um the name is chase my homies classify me as a champion cheetah because my wild side is competitive i'm on the prowl to challenge the wild nothing great is gained without opposition but determined and perseverance will always get you one paw closer to the finish line and just like chazelle had a heart on chase's icon chase has a heart on chazelle's icon here as well and most interestingly we also seem to have some kind of like coming soon little icons for probably uh, upcoming guy characters for the wild child so that's why we don't have many um uh, we we have many empty icons here that just says coming soon still on the prowl which is really catchy so i'm interested to see more guy characters in this series definitely. okay wow so that was all the character bios um and again i love the character artwork i feel like they're each really well designed and if they all look like efficiently like their artwork counterparts in the doll version i'm gonna be floored because that's now amazing. that we've acquainted ourselves with what the wild child are all about let's go over to their instagram account and see when this all started okay, so we're gonna go scrolling down to the very very first um post of the wild child crew here on instagram so the first post ever was posted in 2015 yeah that's right 2015 that was like seven years ago can you believe that then two years later there was even a vote for uh that people could vote like who of these three new characters like the fox character or the monkey character or the lion character was going to be added to the main roster and i believe what happened is that the lion character ended up winning and her name is ladonna because after we can clearly see that she has had her own spread of posts you know up top following the official characters in the lineup although she's not added on the official website she did win the voting i believe um and she has a name and again she's the only other character that's featured like with the huge uh overall grid post so it's interesting to see that um she's not really included but she she is still existing like she's an existing character and so are the fox and monkey characters even though we don't really know their name originally their last post was back in 2020 december of 2020 to promote their new face masks but then i believe on the 15th of april they reposted a piece of art that a uh, minty strap minty strap uh shared on instagram and so i guess that means they're active again because it had been two years since their last post so uh, fingers crossed that this means they're going to update us with new information about where and when these girls are going to be available speaking of why don't we take a look at what we know and have seen so far of the dolls themselves so, so back in 2018 they actually shared a first peek at the prototype based doll here with articulation but just completely like no no color no no nothing just just a really like raw prototype of this first doll version and it looks awesome and that was the first one because of that last picture was posted in january 2018 and then in august 2018 they shared even more pictures of the same doll but now completely painted with the makeup on and the spots like just the whole like fur even fingernails and i mean even the shoes painted on and obviously she does have even like she even has like little um ear piercings like oh my gosh iconic and her tail and her shoes are part of the foot so they're not the shoes are not removable which also kind of gives me brats vibes you know but instead of it being a peg they're just completely not removable <laughs> so i mean that's okay um but obviously just as, that just doesn't give us uh, as many options to redress or customize mix and match um shoes but i feel like you know these shoes are just so unique looking i feel like it's okay and again these are also just the first prototype 
pictures that they had shared. So I'm pretty sure that maybe like when they actually release them, they're gonna make it so the shoes are actually removable or maybe you can, again, they're like a peg kind of situation. So who knows, but this first look that we got back in 2018 of her fully like, you know, painted and stuff, that was a very promising shot, one of many. Wild Childs also shared a picture in 2017, actually, so that this was before they ever shared their first prototype doll of the uh, computer render, like actual like like render of the character of Chazelle, uh, or that's at least how they wrote it in the caption. Um, so that's how it will get printed out or, you know, manufactured. So again, this is how the doll ended up looking in the previous pictures that we just saw. These next pictures came from the Instagram accounts called Wild Child Growls and Wild Child News. Um, again, I've been saying growls like so many times now in this video. I feel like I can't even pronounce it correctly anymore, but definitely follow them if you want to stay up to date for all things wild child news. But so these renders, um, look very promising. Obviously this is the Chazelle render of her face. It looks so detailed. Um, I mean the makeup, I mean, just, it looks so stunning. Like, come on. And then here we have a render of Taja and Chazelle it seems and it seems like each doll is gonna actually come wearing like a collar or like little choker it seems like um and hopefully it'll be removable and uh, uh on the shoes on the shoes the shoes I mean come on the shoes again the shoes they look to see they, they seem to be like attached like one piece a part of the actual like and what's interesting to me is also on the actual artwork the characters have five five toes <laughs> Um, and here on the renders, the characters actually don't have five toes, they just have three toes. So I feel like that's very interesting because, um, you know, animals have five, five paws, five toes. I don't know how to, what's the correct term, but you know what I mean? They don't have just three toes or paws or not paws, just, you know, three, um, things uh, toes i'm just gonna call them toes sorry um so it's interesting that they made that choice that artistic choice to just limit it to three toes and those toes just look kind of like very chunky we also have kind of like a really it's a really rough sketch really rough first kind of early picture uh of what it could actually look like the packaging you know how the dolls will be displayed how they will be sold here with this like um again it's just like a really rough kind of look at how kind of like what's the idea of how they're gonna be sold you know manufactured how they're gonna be pack packaged so but yeah it does look very promising i like I, again it's just giving me very very 2000s aesthetics like with the monster high like little icons and overall like character bios and like they're gonna come with diaries or something like that like this all the puns the hashtags like the wordplay and then the it kind of gives me also like the brats feels with the lips and then the style and then the kind of like the z's at the end of a lot of sentences like just a lot of those kind of Stuff and like combined. it is confirmed the uh, actual like wild child's official instagram account replied to someone commenting on one of their stories i believe um that the, you know it, they're gonna make it happen 2022 is the year of wild childs they're gonna come out with dolls so it does seem very likely like it's finally happening y'all they're finally gonna release and dolls. now we're getting into the newer leaks that again credit goes to wild child's growls and wild child's news on instagram so here it seems we have a first look at peng or ping's body here's a closer look at her foot mold and it's incredible that they're all gonna have unique foot molding and shoe molding because since they are both attached it's gonna i feel like that will cost more you know but that's it still looks awesome like the bamboo detailing for the heel and then we also have what seems to be a early kind of look at her skirt and her little like um leg warmers are you kidding me iconic and then even like a first look at her like green tie i mean it's it, again very first very early early development looks like nothing set in stone here but just like it already looks so good it already looks so promising i can have some new leaks for zari as well here we can see what looks like her artwork shoes and then at the bottom we have her actual molded real life shoes and look how well like um translated they are like the detailing the zebra 
face like on the front and then the like little tree and zebra that's the heel are you kidding me right now again this just seems like too ex like just too expensive to make so i'm actually like very worried these might be like very expensive dolls because they just look so detailed and like so like you know expensively expensive and then we made. get a first look at what seems to be her uh body prototype again they're all in gray but like look at those fingers and nails like are you kidding me right now and we do also have these like early development uh clothing pieces her leggings her skirts her little shirt i love the colors i love the detailing the belt buckle the stitching the fabric it just looks so well made and so soft like i cannot believe that these pieces are already being made i mean that just shows you all that these things are like these dolls are happening they're happening y'all get your wallets we ready. also <laughs> have some first peeks at taja's pieces i mean look at her hand look at her miniature ring i mean that is just crazy look at her belt what seems to be her belt and then here we can see like her necklaces or whatever again her belt is it detachable is it molded onto her who knows and then even her her shoes her shoes y'all her shoes they look so detailed the studs um again just strikes me as very expensive for them to like make a special mold for every doll but but I mean, again, if they're doing this, it means they're, they're you know, they can't <laughs> even get me started on the early pieces here for her outfit, her skirt, her little pants that go under her skirt and then her fur jacket. Y'all, this is like, like the level of rainbow high clothing right here. Even OMG, like this just reminds me of rainbow high and OMG clothing. Like I am, I am speechless. These pieces look Gr so stunning. Okay, recap. Taja, we have seen clothing pieces, her body prototype, and even her like screening here, her 3D model, how it's gonna look like. Then for Giselle, we have seen her 3D model as well. And obviously she was one of the first, she was the very first doll prototype that we got to see with the full paint job and the full render here we can see but obviously that was the first one so it's gonna look much different in the final product the final version and then here for zari we have again also clothing pieces her full-on first reveal prototype body prototype her shoes and uh for ping or peng we also have some clothing pieces and her full-on body prototype her shoes i love her heels and so yeah that's kind of like a roundup of everything we know so far yeah i mean overall i'm so speechless like i i'm i'm impressed with the level of detail and quality that we've seen so far especially with the clothing pieces and the early body types like the the early body uh, movement and articulation and uh, obviously like this is not the final body that they're gonna use these are just early um, prototypes but still like this they're gonna look very similar to that or if not exactly like it I mean I'm just maybe worried that they're gonna have they're gonna be too big or they're gonna be too expensive or quality control you know question mark uh, since they are a smaller company but I feel like we've seen so many good things like I just have such high hopes and um yeah honestly I cannot wait to see more and what happens like what ends up happening with this brand like when they're gonna launch and because I feel like they're gonna make a splash they're gonna make such a big impression and they're gonna be the next big thing like all due respect to Rainbow High and OMG I love those two doll lines and quite frankly Monster High is just coming out at a bad time because Monster High has like a lot to live up to you know what i'm saying like monster high mm, mattel's gotta step up buddy you know mattel's gotta show what they can do now okay because i feel like if not doll collectors are just not gonna go back to monster high because even i'm a i'm a monster high fan like i'm telling you um but like if the quality is not there if it's obvious that they're not designing the dolls with any heart or creativity I feel like people are not gonna buy them. Let's just be honest here. And collector dolls are doing well, but they're so sparse and like they're not the easiest dolls to collect because they're limited and they're expensive and a lot of stuff, a lot of little minor problems. So a lot of people can't even buy them. They can't afford them. Um, so it's really down to the plain line, down to the play line for Monster High. So let's see what happens with that. But oh my gosh, okay, let's stop talking about Monster High. Um, yeah, again, just Monster High has a lot to live up to. And I feel like Wild Childs, if they come out 
girl, I know it's gonna be a fight here. <laughs> um, but also, we haven't seen any renders for Chase, the guy character. He's the only guy character in this first wave. So, I am interested to see, I'm very curious to see like how he's gonna look like, if they're gonna translate him very well, like if he's gonna look like, like himself, or if he's gonna be, you know, like River from Rainbow High that just looks like a baby. <laughs> I don't think so because the um, art, art style that they chose for these characters is very distinct. It's very brats. It's very, you know, like the eyes, the lips, the face molds. Like it's very angular, very, very uh, proportionate. So I feel like they can't really mess him up. But I do hope that they that he looks good so because like the girls look fantastic so yeah overall i'm gonna shut my mouth now i'm excited and that's all but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know what you thought of this uh wild childs what do you think of wild childs did you know it they existed how long have you known of wild childs because i have i've known of them like since a while now like i'm not sure if like since the like the way back like 2015 but i i have seen them like like back like in the early days so like how familiar are you with these uh characters um and who's your favorite what do you think of them what do you think of the leaks of the early body prototypes um and uh if you're a doll collector and you're a monster high fan or you know you're collecting doll lines um how are you gonna you know manage this like with this doll line also coming out like what do you think is gonna be your priority let me know down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more uh wild child's doll news and doll reviews hopefully um and otherwise just more rainbow high and omg stuff but yeah, stay safe, be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay beachy. Kisses.